Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel in the Let's Farm Iowa series here on UMRV. We are now in April, and we have some planting to do. Uh, we got to get our beans in. We have to finish up raking the field. So, raking and baling and picking up the hay bales. <laughs> So there's there's quite a few jobs that we still need to do here. It also looks like our save didn't I don't know if I just didn't save it right or what, but we didn't um I originally planned on having four day seasons and it didn't save that, so we are still on one day seasons. I do have it changed now for next month, but it's not ideal because we have some stuff we gotta get done. What is this? Wait a second. What's planted in here? Grass? What? That wasn't there before. Why does it say grass? That is weird. That is very weird. But So we're going to kind of just drive around quick and get our uh, workers fired up. We got the 8550 going last night right before we went to bed and he got a pass done on this field so we're gonna get him going on this field here hopefully finish that up this is weird why does it keep saying there's grass planted in that field I just plowed that oh let's take a drive quick down to our other field that we just planted with oats and see what in the world is going on. I hope it's planted with oats still and not grass. That would be a bummer. Please be planted with oats. <laughs> please, please, please. Okay, we have O in here. I, that's so weird that these fields are just showing up as grass, but uh, yeah, there's been some there's been some weird things going on on this map. I'm not gonna lie to you. So uh, hopefully it's nothing too like game breaking, but okay. So I'm curious now if this thing still says it's plowed. Hopefully. Okay, it does say that it's plowed still. That's weird. That's a weird one, but whatever. So, got the plow going. We'll get the uh, baler and rake plowed up. They stopped last night. Just got a little bit more to do with the rake and, and the baler. So, as you can see too, we about fifty thousand dollars down, which is a lot. That is our payment for the month. It hurts. That hurts a lot. So that's probably the biggest payments I've ever made on a save game. So yeah. Okay, so let's see where his course is telling him to go. We'll get him going on this one. I don't know exactly where he left off, but we'll get him going there. I guess. Hmm. I guess we could finish this up ourselves, eh? Let's just finish this up quick. Get a little rig action going, eh? But, uh, so if you guys want to know, I have had some questions in the past. How do we have the baler run and do the baling itself? 
I, the way I do it is I always make a course with the rake. So you save your course, pull up your little menu here, hit the rake thing, go into course play, this one here. The way I like to save my courses is by field. So this is field 50. So I created a new folder and then I hit save game and I double clicked on this folder and I called it rake for field 50. And then if you have a like a rake like this where it's uh just goes like center right in the right in the middle you can set your baler off on that same course and he'll follow follow the uh windrow so that uh, is how you run a baler on course play so Hopefully I'm doing good enough where <laughs> the bailer recognizes my my swath for these last few rows. I doubt he will, so we might have some cleaning up jobs to do. Uh, oh yeah, and you might have seen we have a new bailer, new Vermeer bailer. I thought I had a version of the 50 or 560M or whatever bailer by John Deere there that was just it still just did regular bales I know the one by Cunningham mods is like like the big bales where you have to have like a special um, a special like picker upper bale picker upper deal uh, in, in order to bale those up but Apparently not. So, and then there's another baler out there. I don't remember who it's by. And I thought that one just did regular bales, like a regular 180 bales, like meter bales. But, yeah, I don't think. I don't think that's the case. So, that's alright. So, we did switch it out for the Vermeer. Okay. We'll leave the side by side over there for now. And then we'll hop in. Man, see, that's going to be an issue. Because this doesn't seed directly. So, with it, there being grass in that field now, we might have to go over it again. Again. Oh boy. Might have a mess on our hands here, folks. But we'll try it. I have a habit of just flipping my hazards and beacons on every time I'm on the road, no matter how far I'm going. Good practice, right? So let's hope I can still do this. I don't, I'm really thinking I'm not going to be able to. Might have to take the land all over it. Hi. Hi, yi, yi. Okay, let's get this unfolded and let's just see what happens quick. Yeah, she's not going. Oh, she's going. She going? Looks like she's going, but she might not be going. Might not actually be anything planting in there. Yeah, there's nothing being planted. Interesting. Okay. So. Huh. Let's get this folded back up. We gotta figure out what we gotta do now. Maybe we end up planting... This is what we're going to do. 
So I believe the Kinsey planter is a no-till planter. So, instead of planting our beans with this, we'll plant some some row crop beans with the planter instead. Because I believe that won't work. Let's hope. Fingers crossed. So. Uh, where do I want to put this? Swing it around here again. Just leave it here. Not a whole lot of parking space. Outside of the sheds, at least. On this yard, but that's alright. Okay. I guess before we do this, let's just check. I think it's leased. Planters. No previous. Perfect. Hey, look at that. So. That's gonna be great. But, since I wasn't planning on using this yet, we might need to make a trip uptown and get some fertilizer. I wasn't planning on having fertilizer until the next in-game day. So, I think if we just do... We might want to get our tanks installed again. Hopefully they work. So there's some things we gotta do quick before we uh, do anything, so. We gotta fill this up with seed and fertilizer. We might wanna get our tanks installed back on the, on the tractor here. We should probably run uptown with the tender trailer and get it loaded with fertilizer. Let's move the truck out of the way. I don't think he's going to be able to split the truck in the... in the flagpole there, so let's just park it up in the grass a little bit more here. Switch over to the truck. Oh boy. Oh boy. I hope uh, this truck handles uh, this tender trailer well when it's full of heavy fertilizer. Oh gosh, it's hard It's hard to turn out of those uh, drives. Might need to do some landscaping there. At some point, add some, some dirt to the driveway there. So I'm li just looking at the big map here, mini map, and seeing what is the best way to get into town. So looks like we need to go north here, and then we'll turn left at the next farm and go down that way. Got the old Jake brakes engaged. Who doesn't love some good Jake brake sound? Well, what's this main road here? Oh, it looks like we can take this down. We can take this main road down. That'll be good. I believe I forgot to set my FOV, unfortunately. I have to do that with every... Let's do it quick. There we go. I play on 45 FOV. Just so you know. In case you wanted to also play on 45 FOV. Well, this is a good way to get us into town. Nice little scenic drive. Through the mountains. Update, I have not gotten the... Uh, I have not gotten the mod list together yet. 
it's just a lot of work. A lot of tedious work just trying to find links and everything. Uh, yeah. I mean, I know it's... You know, you see something cool and you want to know where to get it or something, you know, but... I don't know. I found it, so... Construction here. I don't think I've actually driven in town yet on this f on this map, so this is the first time for me as well. I've just flown over it. Little Tiho sign there. Little McGregor, Iowa sign. And through the little industrial area here, Yingling, my favorite beer. Can't get Yingling in Michigan where I live, so anytime we go south, south of the border into Ohio or Indiana, there's always a group thread on my family uh, text group and asking if anybody wants some Yingling. <laughs> so, I'm always bring back a few. Uh, a few different 24 packs of uh, Yingling, so. Let's go this way. We want to catch this green light. We don't have to wait. I think this is the way to the buy point. Just hitting all the green lights. Good deal. Good deal. Yeah. I think the TSC is where you buy the stuff, so. So, I believe you have to open, yeah. Open the game manually. Then we go through here. Gotta open this door. We'll turn up our little help menu just to see where we're at. Start filling. Oh, okay, that is with fertilizer. Now let's check the nitrogen levels after we save. Nitrogen levels are pretty poor, so we're going to be needing quite a bit of fertilizer. So I guess we might as well just... We'll go 60%. Yeah. 60%. Alright, so we're full here. We have a delivery coming tomorrow of more fertilizer and seed. Like I said, I wasn't planning on using the fertilizer yet, so... We didn't call the co-op up and ask if they have it ready for us, because they don't. They, they weren't planning on it, so... Let's turn back out, and uh, I'll meet you guys back up at the farm. Alrighty, so we're back here at the farm. Uh, we got the seeds filled, we got the fertilizer filled. We're gonna forego the mounted tanks right now. Just to get this going. We just need to get we need to get going on this, so let's see if we can make this up. Oh, we hit our mailbox. Very nice. Yeah, we gotta do something about widening out these uh, roads here outside of the drives. Alright. Get her unfolded. Let's throw a course play course up quick. 
Three is fine. Perfect. Alright, so get her fired up. You're tossed in the ground. Hopefully, we're planting. It does not look like we're planting. What in the world is going on, man? What in the world is going on, man? Let me get... Let me do some tests in here and I will uh, hop back in with you guys in a bit. Alright, so after doing some testing, um, we got the big cat over here on the land all and just did some tilling up on this ground. So it looks like after we till it, after we disc it, it's fine. So. We're gonna wait on planting. Things happen, you know, so. We're gonna wait on planting for now. We gotta get this uh, disc ran over the top here of this field because for some reason it was planted with grass. <laughs> I, have no, I don't know. I don't know what the heck is happening. I want us not start on headlands. Let's start on center. We'll get him going. He'll he'll fold up and head over there. So we're gonna get the planter out of the field. And we're gonna fold this up. And we're gonna hop in the bale stacker and get those bales off, so we got some other jobs we can be doing, so we'll go do that instead. Which is all good. How long do you think it's going to take this uh, guy to figure out how to get over there? It's going to be a bit. Okay. So. So that gives us some time that we could probably get our tanks mounted back onto the the 700 here and uh, I'll catch you guys in a second when we get back or when we get over into the stacker it's already in the field so we'll uh, hop over onto it alright so we're over here in the fent we got her hooked up last night okay and then what's going on there okay so we got her hooked up to this last night says some more horsepower than the Challenger does, and the Challenger's on the baler already, so this is the next logical tractor to use, so uh, we'll throw this one into a uh, time lapse for you guys while we do this work, and uh, I'll catch you guys when I catch ya.
So we got uh, the bales all stacked. Well, some of the bales stacked, but uh, yeah, we'll uh, keep at this job um, and we'll head back to the field. Hopefully we can get the field there to our left uh, dissed up in time to get some crop in the ground by the end of the day, but I'm not holding my breath on that one, so uh, but anyway I appreciate you guys for watching and uh, as always, I will catch you in the next one